Welcome, Scorpio, to your spiritual reading of for July. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back, all subscribers. Anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on here. You have the Dakini of Infinite Light. With the self-love and the awareness. And with the Dakini of Infinite Light over here, it is talking about seek and you shall find. It's pretty much knock on the door and the door shall answer, right? That door is going to open wide for you as long as you keep knocking. Um, finding the teachers and the teachings which feel pure to your heart. But remember, it's the inner truth of you that will ultimately set you free. Do not give your power away, but do trust in the greater guiding wisdom at work in all aspects of your life. Ask for help from enlightened spiritual beings in any matter of concern and help shall be granted. Believe all problems can be resolved and a more graceful life experience is opening up for you now. So it's mostly just the idea of, you know, we pray and, you know, we keep going and we keep going and we keep asking and sooner or later that door will open. It's just being aware yeah, I love the awareness here because it's actually being aware that you understand that that door is open. Do you have the awareness to understand that you've had many things open for you, but you may not have been aware of it? I mean, many people say the prayers never happened, the blessings never happened, this never happened. Really? Huh. It's very interesting that people say this because I don't see it that way. If anything, I can see it from a wider perspective. Um, your children are a blessing. Um, your husband is a blessing. That one person who came into your life at that one time was a blessing. Even if it was for a very short time, they probably taught you something and it was a blessing. Your best friend is a blessing. It's a person that loves you, you can trust, you can lean on their, their shoulder with. You're not alone, right? Many blessings. So a lot of people believe that there's, you know, without the self-love, you can't see the blessings because you are kind of hidden inside of a shell of believing that I knock and I knock and nothing ever happens. Well, what are you knocking for? You know, I mean, if you're just knocking to win the lottery, good luck. Good luck because the Lord will tell you whether or not you're, that's good for you or not. Um, many blessings, though, do come in many, many ways. Um, you own a home. That's a blessing. You have to, you know, think of blessings coming in so many different ways. As you were a child, you wanted um, to own a home. And for those of you who own a home, that's your blessing, right? So you have to see it from a different perspective. So stepping outside of the shoes that you're wearing and kind of looking around because a lot of times we can't see things that are completely right, you know, right underneath our nose, kind of like the snake that's going to bite us. Um, so with the self-love, a lot of times <clears throat> they have to understand, you know, that it's that feeling downhearted or melancholy because you haven't fully grasped how to appreciate who you really are yet or appreciating the things that are actually kind of around you, which is still kind of a self-love in its own way, um, to see the blessings. The ability to truly love yourself com complements your capacity to fall in love with others and the world as a whole. So that's a lot of times why people don't see uh, the blessings. They don't see it as a whole. Um, self-love also means ex acknowledgement and of the light within yourself, you are a sacred part of the mystery and miracle of life. Perhaps you have struggled to rally esteem, respect, or love for who you are. Maybe you are looking outside of yourself for validation. You are, you may expect friends, family, partner, co-workers, or bank account to provide you with a sense of worth. And that's that other thing of blessings. You already have the truth. The truth is within yourself, but a lot of times we don't see it because we feel naked. You have to become more aware of what you're getting. And a lot of times within the self-love, um, within the blessings, it's like there might be a gratefulness that's kind of missing because it's, um, like I said, it's just kind of a blindedness to the situation. And a lot of people actually feel very alone. But once you have self-love, there is no aloneness. And then the blessings just continue to keep coming, coming, coming. Um, it's kind of like um, almost two in one over here. 
ticket how it resonates. Everybody's story is a little different. You might have one side and not the other side, right? You could say, I totally have the self-love. I just don't see the blessings, right? Um, I keep knocking, but I don't see anything ever happen. And then some of you are like, I don't have the self-love to even see anything. There's no blessings. There's no this. There's no that, right? Because I just don't see anything. So having the awareness over here is just having the opening to see, to perceive what's really going on around you. There's many things going on and a lot of you have self-sacrificed a lot of things um, and that might be another reason why you don't think it's really blessings is because it's more of like, I don't really think a self-sacrifice is a blessing. Um, if I had to self-sacrifice this or that or the other, um, you see what I'm saying? So it does feel like a lot of you feel I self-sacrifice for my own achievements. But a lot of times we have to do that because that's just part of it, the blessing in itself. Um, it's just part of the test. It's part of the way we have to get to things. Of course, this brings you down and it makes you feel like there will be nothing if I don't self-sacrifice certain things. Um, so it could keep you in a depressed mode, which is not a part of self-love. It's a part of depression, sadness, and um, negative energy. You have to find that with every tower that we have, that there's an inspiration to do so. So even if you're self-sacrificing for your blessings, um, it's still inspired by, your, by higher beings uh, for your better good. A lot of times we have to do such things. It's the having the recognition that, you know, I can have this and it does work no matter what. Even if I'm self-sacrificing things, it's still in play. Um, there's no real rules to the playbook. You're still knocking and it's still happening. And just think a lot of times we self-sacrifice things to get to other things that we have. But then when the inspiration comes through, all of a sudden we have more than we expected. And I think that that's what the whole point is over here. And that's still the blessing. Wow, yeah, because the, there it is, the Seven of Cups. So you went from this One of Cups to all of a sudden self-sacrificing to have Seven of Cups instead of One. You were only worried about the One. We see that. We see the One. You were only worried about the One. And then all of a sudden it opens all these doors to the self-awareness to say, oh, but now I have Seven of Cups. I have more opportunities I did before. Humbling yourself and seeing and being prepared and keeping the control and the ball in your court for the awareness, knowing that you are in control of the way you perceive things and do things. And it brings in more opportunities and just more opportunities on the way. And having the self-love and the gratitude, I just see this right here because of the King of Wands is really bringing the extra determination. Because what it was, was it, it just feels like Scorpio. It was like, it was the, the hard road hard life knocks. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's like it's the hard no, road knocks or however it is. I just keep seeing Annie in my head. But the point is, is it's because a lot of times in life, the hidden blessings was because whatever you self-sacrificed was probably might have not been really good for you anyways, or it could have kept, kept you stuck. And the only reason I see it that way is because it's using the hangman. So otherwise, if you didn't do what you did, you're just going to get stuck. So it was by taking that extra step. And, you know, the spirit likes it when you self-sacrifice things because it means you're giving up something to have something better. And it allows them to say, hey, look what you've done. You've worked super hard. So now I can bring in more. Bring in the freedom and the vitality and the happiness and the joy. And that's really what life is all about in itself is the sun. That's why it's the best card in the deck. It's all about the feeling free and vitalized and happy and joy and feeling, you know, harmonious, feeling like we're on the right path, just 
wake up every day and just see the sun rising and hear the birds singing. And I just, that's what life is all about. And that's really what it's bringing in. And it just makes you juggle again. Juggling around the things that'll make you happy. Juggling around the things that make you aware of the situation. Very beautiful, you guys. Very deep and very beautiful. Okay, and let's see what Spirit has to say by using an angel card. answer is yes. So whoever is thinking whatever it was is yes. Whatever you're really looking for could come within a year from now. For some of you, just keep asking help from others, whatever it is you're really doing. But you have to have that trust and keep trusting with the self-love. Keep trusting that when you knock, you're, you know, the door will open. And having the self-love is having the trust within yourself. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.